Hey guys, so this is going to be my Altair Beauty Brushes review and I did an unboxing as well as a demo for the first time like me using it, you know, kind of like a first impression. And I'll insert the unboxing after this review as well as the demo. And um, I don't really remember what I said in the demo to be honest. I, I, I know I've said some information regarding the company but I'm not sure exactly what I've said and what I didn't say. But I'm just gonna tell you guys pretty much like um, the key points I guess. There's 15 brushes and what makes the brushes so unique is their design, their colors, their pattern kind of. Basically their um, appearance and also the quality. They're really soft. I believe they're synthetic brushes and they're... Oh my god, they're really... They're really soft. Um, so this is what the brushes look like. It has a gold kind of a handle thing. I'm not sure what this is called. And also have a pink and white chevron print. It's so adorable for those who, you know, like print likes pink or chevron. They retail for $30, so that's about two dollars a brush plus a brush uh holder thing. So on the website they claim that they don't shed, which None of these shed except for this one and it wasn't even a shed, it was like kind of a little like one strand of hair that was like sticking about this much higher up and it was just annoying me and I kept on tugging it because it wouldn't come out so I mean I don't know if that is considered shedding but it's just like it just stuck out and I just who it was bothering me but I mean that was the only problem I had with it everything like else was perfect like I honestly did not believe that the company you know when the company said oh yeah they don't shed like a lot of my brushes do shed especially the ones from echo tools the powder brush one um I stopped using that one and I use this one because they're so, so much softer so I'm going to be showing you guys my three most used brushes and my three least used brushes so my most used brush is my powder brush I use this every single day just to set in my concealer and my foundation or liquid foundation and stuff like that and then my second most used is the angled brush I just put it right here actually I would say both of these are my most used because I use these like if I'm if I'm having if I'm using makeup I'm I'm always using these two so they are my two most used brushes. And then I also use this for kind of like um, under the eyelashes and my eyebrows too when I do fill in my eyebrows. And then my three least used brushes. Um, I mean, they're good. I mean, they're nice, whatever. It's just I don't, I can't find something useful for them. I mean, with the dome brush, I guess I can put like a contour here. But, I mean, I don't really contour my nose. And I guess a lot of people use it for, like, this part right here. But, I mean, I just feel more... I feel more comfortable using the angled brush. And a lot of people, you know, use their blush right here. But I don't use blush, so this is my least, least used one. And then also the lip. I'm just not comfortable using a lip brush. And then as well... This thing, I just... I, I don't... I don't know. I just don't like this. Like, I mean... I'm not comfortable with this. It's just, I, mm, it's so dense. Like, like when you put in the gel, cause my gel is really hard. I'm, I use the Maybelline gel, the Maybelline Eye Studio one. I actually found it. If you watch my demo, I was freaking out cause I couldn't find it, but I did find it. And I couldn't, I just, it's so dense. Like when I put it in, it's just like, you know, does that make sense? So, I mean, yeah, these are my three least used brushes. So there's about two things I kind of don't like with these brushes, but they're not like really, you know, big. They're just, you know, if if they can improve, I guess. I mean, not improve, but these are things that they can improve on basically is what I meant. So as you can see, this brush, the design starts right here pretty much about like, I would say, um, about one-fourth down, I guess. And then like compared to the powder brush, they start like pretty much right where the handle ends and I just, just don't like how there's like a white spot. I mean I think it's just because of the printer or when they print this or however they used to put this on. It's just how it is. But it's just like why why do they have a space for here, you know? So another thing that they can improve on is um they have three eyeshadow brushes, a small, medium, a large. And I believe the medium is the same size as the small. I might be wrong. I said it in my unboxing video but yeah, um, I think it's better if they kind of switch out the medium size brush and in exchange for a different kind of brush, like maybe 
a fan brush or even a kabuki brush something like that to have like a more variety because I mean yeah I guess that's pretty much so overall, I really do recommend these brushes because not only do you get 15 brushes, I have some brushes um, left out of here, but I mean, not only do you get 15 brushes, but you also get this kind of like this carry bag thing, whatever it's called. So yeah. If you look on the Amazon page for this product, they have, I believe all of their reviews are actually five stars with the exception of one review, which is a one star, which I think is really odd because like, Everyone else gives it five stars except for this one person who gives it one star. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with them because like they were claiming how it sheds a lot, but it does not shed at all. Like with the exception of the powder brush, like that powder brush was like funky, but I mean it did not shed. So yeah, I hope you guys find this review helpful. Um, and yeah, so here's gonna be the unboxing and then the demo after this. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. Yeah. So today I'm going to do an unboxing, kind of a first impression, and then I'll also do a demo um, using these brushes on my makeup routine. And then after a week or two of using these brushes, I'll do kind of like a review and overall how I think of the products. So as of right now, they only sell one item, which is their brush set. And the brush set contains um, 15 brushes. So I'm just going to open this up. This is what it looks like. It looks really pretty. Um, and they have like this little bow. And they also have this like blue letter here. So I'm just going to read it. Okay, so this is a thank you letter for reviewing her products. And... Um, so, yeah, and then they also have, um, this little card to tell all the brushes, so there's 15 brushes. Okay, so onto the brushes itself, there's a bow, which I thought was really cute, it's pink, and then this is the pouch, it's a gold pouch, and I'm just gonna open them. Oh, okay, so this is what the brushes oh wait this is what the brushes looks like it looks really pretty especially the gold i love you guys know me i love the gold like accents on them because i have a gold watch so i just i just like gold basically so um yeah so i'm just gonna look at the card so these are the brushes and i have the card thing so this is the powder angled contour um dome contour uh foundation concealer Blending, eyeshadow large, eyeshadow medium, eyeshadow small. The small and medium looks fairly the same size. Um, flat definer, angled eyeliner. Uh, this is supposed to be the other way around. So let goes here. Or well, I can put it in first. Mm. Okay, so eyeliner, lip, spoolie, and then the lash slash comb. And they also have like an instruction on how to clean them. Um, clean all brushes before first use. Wash them with a gentle baby shampoo. Uh, brush hair, brush hairs facing downwards. Let air dry. So yeah, and they also have like monthly contests if you guys want to win your own set. So yeah, that is it for my first impression. Um, so far they look really nice, so I can't wait to do a demo on these soon. So my camera ran out of memory, so I had to delete some stuff. But I am going to be using the large eyeshadow brush using um, this eyeshadow, which is Spotlight, I think. So yeah. Um, and I'm just going to be placing this all over my eyelid. Okay, and then I think next I'm going to be using the medium, oh, there's like an eyeshadow thing, uh, the medium uh, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be using Nightcap, and then I'm going to be taking the small eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be taking Eclipse, I guess, this color, I'm just going to put this at the very, very, very outer part of my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking the blending brush, which is this huge brush, and I'm just going to 
go in with the second color I used, which is the nightcap, and I'm just gonna blend it out. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's not too dramatic. Um, so I think now I'm going to be taking the eyeliner brush and if I can find my gel eyeliner so I can't seem to find my gel eyeliner um so I think I will be using this brush today because I really don't know what else to use this for besides a uh, gel eyeliner I guess so next is going to be the lips so I have this lip brush and I also have this lip palette from Too Faced Natural Rebel and I think I'm just going to be using this nude color on the outside and then this like pinker color on the inside to make this like gradient effect because I've been I've been like obsessing over that kind of like trend ish because I saw it on like a bunch of Korean people's lips so, Yeah, my lips are really chapped, so it looks kind of gross right now. Um, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Yucky. Alright, I think it's so much easier just to put, like, lipstick directly onto this, but... Yeah, okay, now I'm going to be taking the darker pink color, and I'm just going to be putting that onto the lips yeah it's not working so I'm just gonna put it on my whole entire lips yeah okay um I think that pretty much concludes this kind of demo thing um overall I'm pretty satisfied with it there isn't really much I can say bad about this. I mean, the 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 handles are really long. I mean, they're not really long, but I believe on app compared to like other brushes, like right here, it's pretty long. Um, See, so yeah, I really like that about this. I guess. Yeah, that is it.